Let me tell you all something. War has made me very paranoid. And when a man gets the eyeball at me, it makes my agent all jack up. And I get the urge to kill. I'm bored. She's hot. Let's make a video. Now, as per usual, we're going to play our little waiting game because she is bad, boys. Look at those eyes. I mean, that smile, pff, top notch. She's clearly a gray. Now, if you are unfamiliar with the terminology, a gray is what I consider mixed chicks, such as your Amanda Seals, your um, uh, Angela Rise, incredibly gorgeous and Toya Browns, gorgeous, gorgeous, mm, beautiful specimen of women on the outside, on the inside, bruh, you can tell whatever is about to come out of this chick's mouth is going to be bonkers. And if you need further proof of that, we got that nice little libs of TikTok um, <laughs> logo down there. So yeah, it's about to get nuts. So uh, just come more, just come more seconds, just for a silence. Like, oh, shh, nice and quiet. Fucking perfection. Now, let's ruin it, boys. Looking for a way to talk to your kids about being transgender, non-binary. No, no, no one should, sweetheart. Like, because the deal is, is that most parents would like to eventually one day become grandparents and if you start down this road then you know the likelihood of, like the likelihood of that being a rea uh, reality well it gets a lot sl slimmer a lot quicker I'm binary or even cisgender check out my new video you might feel like a boy you might feel like a girl you might feel like both boy and girl or or you could just deal with whatever it is God said that you were, whatever God decided to create you to be, you know, like how you feel, kiddo, really doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things. Your feelings are but a, a, a bit of sand at the ocean, a grain of sand at the ocean. That's how much your feelings account for anything outside of you and yourself. And so it's on you to control your emotions, control your feelings, and realize that there is this thing called reality. And whatever is dangling between your legs, whether it's lips or, you know, or, or shmeet, deal with it, all right? Because, oh man, the feelings really don't matter but so much. That's just the cold hard truth. But, I mean, guys, look at this broad like look at this broad do <laughs> you think she has to worry about the truth no <laughs> man man i can imagine this woman being taken care of her entire life i mean i don't know this woman's situation at all but i do know the type of face and that bubbly cute little personality that can kind of manipulate men and basically the world around her into doing her will you know like that's uh actually something kevin samuels used to bring up quite a bit how um you know men by our sheer by our physicality we can manipulate the world around us well ladies through your beauty and your femininity you can manipulate the men to manipulate the world around you and that's what has happened in western society that's how we've gotten to this point where you know these fine ass teachers most of them banging their students anyway um <laughs> are out here like oh yeah well if you f if you have a penis but you feel like a girl you have a vagina but you feel like a boy and well, guess what you can just run with your feelings i'm sorry sweetheart just like for for like in your little world great you know what i'm saying like that can work but unfortunately you're not here as a teacher to um to prepare your kids for their own little worlds you're supposed to be preparing them for the real fucking world, sweetie. But yeah, let's uh get back into this. Damn, she's fine. Hey, grievance cisgender, check out my new video. Right. You might feel like a boy. You might feel like a girl. You might feel like both boy and girl, or like neither. You might feel like your gender changes from day to day, or from year to year. You might feel like you have to take a shit. You might feel like you don't want that extra um that extra serving of dessert. 
you may feel like that's the thing about feelings they are so they are so whimsical they are so unstable that they are absolutely nothing to build a foundation on and the problem one of the biggest problems that we have in society is that people have built that have been ha have had their foundations built on fucking feelings and guess what when shit goes crumbling you end up with so many different shooters and like mass shooters and the like and Uvaldi's and all these other um circumstances that the government's fully aware that you're having somebody there with mental issues um you, you have someone there with mental issues but they do absolutely nothing knowing that it'll turn into something um cr uh, crappy and chaotic and all ha and, and most of it comes back around to the fact that a lot of people their foundations are built on this exact same thing that you're preaching sweetheart which is oh your feelings are just the most important thing in the world and that's the only thing that matters and unfortunately that's just not reality and that's how we end up in the circumstances that we're in when we have so many mentally unstable people mentally unwell people uh around running around you know committing terrible acts you might feel that none of these words describe you perfectly. You might not be sure yet. Maybe you're still figuring it out. So you wrote a book featuring a more brown version of the Burger King Kids Club? Hmm? Is, is, is that what we're seeing here? Your feelings about your gender are real. Listen to your heart. No matter... Listen to your parents, kid. Listen to your listen to your parents. Listen to your logic. Listen to your sense. If you're a boy, definitely. If you're a girl, sweetheart, go talk to your mother because she can give you the girl version of this uh, of this whole little spiel. Because no, your feelings don't matter. Your heart will lead you down the wrong way. Will will like it being in constantly being in your feelings will have you making terrible fucking choices that's just how it works being all scared and and that's all the feels being super emotional being in love uh being scared being um you know like just in in, in in any type of intense emotional frenzy will always steer you down the wrong path have you make choices have you making permanent choices based on temporary problems don't okay no matter what your gender identity is you are okay exactly the way you are and you are loved it feels good to be okay and you hear the suit did, did we all catch that loop right there did we all catch that loop right there where she says oh um follow your heart and all this other stuff right then loop it's okay to be who you are and who you are is whoever god made you you didn't have i'm sorry you didn't have a lot of choices in that shit hey does looking does being a woman look like it could be a whole hell of a lot of fun yeah would i ever want to be a woman no why because that's not who i am that's not what i was what i was made into being it's always about and and, and it always should be about you finding um that what's the name within yourself you you finding that comfort within yourself right in in just in an acceptance of the things that you can't change but this oh yeah it's all about your heart let's get back to because we're, we're we're done here we're wrapping up <clears throat> fine as hell jesus is when we get it but that all that fineness is a double-edged sword because she don't hear the word no a lot <laughs> and someone should have told her no to this whole thing sweetheart at the end of the day you're partially right yes it is about becoming comfortable with who you are but it's also about recognizing that the rest of the world the rest of society no one has to capitulate to you now rock out however you so desire, but do not expect, do, don't even anticipate acceptance 
or you know say acceptance from you know saying anyone else it's a it really if it truly is about being comfortable in who you are it's about uh in, in accepting and, and loving who you are then guess what that's the entire shebang all that gender nonsense oh well you know you don't may not feel like a boy you may not feel like a girl. No, no 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 you are just what you are and i learn to accept that so guys with that being said we're gonna bring this one to an end all the internet stuff if you like it so also like dislike go ahead do that too nobody's scared of you sub if you enjoy my fantastic voice you want to get videos like this every single day share because sharing is caring and youtube and bitch you and like aren't the biggest fans of your boy over here for very obvious reasons bang the bell for notifications get something from teespring check me out odyssey as well links in the description i should go in the description box and do damage and speak let me know what do you guys think in the comments absolutely gorgeous um but bonkers man bonkers as a uh, well, uh, like the cartoon. Remember the cartoon bonkers? Anyways, guys, let me know what you think in the comments section. And until the next one. Your booze mean nothing. I've seen what makes you cheer. Every breath I take without your permission raises my self-esteem.